Okay, welcome to the Daily 3D Revolve. Today we're going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to how to use the um, combine feature, the subtract feature, and we're also going to be creating a jig or a fixture uh, for CNC machining to hold your part. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Design Spark mechanical. We're going to go ahead and create this in inches. So if you want to follow along, we'll go ahead and go to the inches. So we'll go to new, new design. We're going to change this to plan view. We're going to get our circle. We're going to create the first part. So we're going to go uh, 1.5. And we'll go ahead and grab the circle tool again. We're going to come up one, uh, four clicks. We're going to create a uh, 0.35 circle. Now we're going to go ahead and use our uh, tangent line tool. We're going to come from here down to there. Actually, undo that. I'm going to put a line in the middle here so we can create a mirror line. That way we don't we only have to draw one line. So go ahead and select the click off. Right mouse click on the line, set as mirror. We'll get our uh, tangent line tool. We're going to come from the top there. Go ahead and just draw through the circle because we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. So your line's going to be O, or actually one will be your line, and then the degree is uh, two hundred fifty-seven point four. So just go ahead and click there. Select, to, click, select to, to click off. Now we're going to go ahead and get rid of that mirror line. We don't need it anymore. So we're going to get our trim away. We're going to trim away these little bits right here, and then we're going to trim away this piece here. Then we're going to come up here and grab the circle again. And then we're going to create a circle in the middle there, but we're going to make it 0.125, a uh, smaller one. Okay, now we're with the select and selection tool highlighted, we're going to drag a marquee around the pieces that we just created. We're going to select move. We're going to come over here and make sure create pattern is checked. And we're going to drag this down to the center. And then we're going to go ahead and swing this around. I think probably, yeah, five pieces would be okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get our circle. And then we're going to create a circle here in the middle. Just make this one. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and spin this. Go to your 3D mode. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we're going to drag. We're going to go ahead and hold down the control key, get all these. We're going to go to pull. We're going to pull these up. Uh, just type in 0.25. That's <clears throat> well, okay. Let's let me get a sip of water here. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to go ahead and get your pull tool again. And we're going to pull this middle piece up. Go ahead and just type 1. Go ahead and pull that up to 1. This is going to be our part. So now what we have to do is create a uh, another square. Uh, to hold this part. So we're going to go ahead and go to uh, the top view. We're going to control minus. Now we're going to go ahead and get our rectangle tool. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, go, we're going to come over here and click on define from center and click in the middle there. I'm just going to drag this out. This is going to be a little fixture part to hold this five point star. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make it uh, Let's just go 3.5 and then hit tab and then do another 3.5. So now we got this piece here. So now we're going to go ahead and um, spin this. Go to your 3D mode. Um, we're going to go ahead and click that. Hold down control key and just get the outline of this. Okay, now we're going to do a control C, control V. Now we're going to get move. We're going to drag this down. Okay. And then we're going to delete that one. Okay, so this is going to be our fixture one. So what we got to do is go ahead and go to your pull. We're going to select all of these. Hold down control key. And then we want to come up here to fill. I'm going to make it solid. So now we're going to go ahead and pull this down. Let's just do a 0.5. So undo that. Let's click on the face. Type 0.5. Okay, now we have a 0.5 fixture. 
Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and spin this right to here and then change it to the top view. We're going to click on this face. We're going to come over here with the line. And then we're going to click the midpoint there. We're going to come down to the midpoint there. Okay, now we're going to go to our 3D mode and we're going to spin this. <clears throat> okay, now what we need to do is pull. We want to, we want to select just that line. You see how it's two arrows? There's an arrow pointing to the left, which indicates that we could pull it this way. And there's an arrow pointing down. We want to click on the down arrow and we want to drag that up so we have it like a plane. And we want to select the click off. Now we'll go ahead and spin this. Now we want to go ahead and select that piece that we just drew. We want to grab the green arrow and we're going to move it down. Now it doesn't have to be, just move it until the rectangle is somewhere in the middle of this square, both of these pieces. So go ahead and select the click off. Okay, now what we want to do is come up here to combined. We're going to click this and we're going to click on this piece here and then we're going to click on this piece here. And now we're going to go pan, pan up. Okay, so now we have two, two separate pieces. And you can see over here on the surface in the tree, we have the original drawing that we drew. We have uh, the surfaces, all the holes. We have a solid, that's our, going to be our right piece. We have a surface that's going to be the plane in the middle. Then we have a solid. Okay, so what we're going to do is go ahead and delete this. We don't need it, so hit delete. Now, uh, the reason we're doing two pieces is that with a fixture, if you're saying scene, uh, your fixture needs to be two pieces so the vise can actually push on the right piece and push on the left piece and uh, put tension so it will hold your part. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and select by clicking on the solid over here. We're going to select our, our part and we're going to go ahead and go to move. Then we want to drag this down into the into the part a little bit. Now you can see it's kind of transparent around the edges. You just want to do about pull about halfway through. Or actually yeah about a little less than half. Okay now we're going to select off. So now we want to use this combine tool again. Uh, so we're going to come up here. We don't need these circles so we're going to the surfaces so we're going to right mouse click on them and we're going to hit delete. Okay now we got rid of those. So now we're going to go Combined, we're going to click on this part here, and then we're going to click on this part here. Okay, you're going to have to do that twice. Now select to click off. Now we're going to go combined again. Click here, click here. Okay, now you have all these different pieces here. So what we want to do is go ahead and isolate the solid, the model. So we're going to go ahead and click there. Now we're going to go to move. Come up here, click there. Grab the blue arrow. We're going to move this up. Okay. Now we want to locate this these two pieces. So we'll go ahead and go through the the uh, tree up here until we find it. So that piece. So we're going to hit, click on it, hit delete. Then we want to get the other one. So we're going to highlight that and hit delete. So this is going to be our little fixture here. So this part basically is going to fit in here. The vise is going to put pressure on it. It's going to hold it. So we're going to go Control minus. So now we're going to go ahead and select our solid model. We're going to come up here to move, grab the blue, and we're going to just move this up a little bit so it's easier to see. So we're going to go ahead and spin this. Now what we would like to do um, is go ahead and uh, go to pull. <clears throat> we want to add a little bit more height to these because these are basically going to hold uh, this piece in place. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, in the tree here. We're going to go ahead and uh, click the solid. We're going to go to move. We're going to grab blue. Then we're going to move it back down. Okay, so this piece is going to go in here. And then your your uh, CNC machine is going to do the uh, machining. And then, um, okay, we'll probably make this a little bit lower. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We'll go to pull. And then we'll just make it lower. And then go ahead and spin that. So that's going to be your fixture. Oh, it looks like it got rid of my line then. Okay. So we did a we did a mistake there. Some somewhere in the the last couple of moves. So let's do some undos. Control Z, Control Z, 
Control Z right there. Just three undos. Um, make sure when you're uh, clicking on stuff, you're careful because uh, if you don't, uh, yeah, because basically Design Spark Mechanical can merge things together so they're solid. And we don't want them to be a solid. We want to, we don't, we want to be able to move this stuff independently of one another. So we want to be able to move that piece and we want to be able to move the other piece. So just be careful. And if you notice that it's merged, just uh, don't panic. Just do a couple of undos and get back to where you were before. We can get rid of these lines. We don't need those. Okay, so this is going to be the tutorial. This is a, a tutorial on how to use your combine tool um, and also how to create a uh, CNC fixture for your, uh, for your parts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move this stuff back into place. Go ahead and go to the move. We'll just pull this. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Go ahead and spin this. Okay, I'll do something like this and go ahead and uh, select that and just kind of move it down. Go to the move tool, move it down and kind of over a little bit. Okay. So that's going to end today's tutorial on how to use the combine uh, feature in Design Spark Mechanical and also how to create yourself a fixture or a, uh, a jig, I guess they call them, for CNC machining. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of the video. Thanks again for watching.